Hey there everyone, Undermine here. I am playing some EVE Online, and I thought I'd do a small tutorial. Uh, in the background, well, this is my character here. In the background is my spaceship I've been flying lately, a Ferox. And that brings me to what I'm going to do about, or what, what I will uh, do the tutorial on. And I'm going to do it on spacecraft, or what type, um... What type of uh, sh ships there are in Eve? Okay, let's open up the market. Now, first of all, let's close this and open ships. And okay, so you see a whole list of stuff here. Yeah, battle cruisers, and I think I'll just go off the line. Go down the line. <coughs> Sorry. Um, first is battle cruisers. Battle cruisers are actually, you know, what I'm gonna do from smallest to largest. What I understand, forget the shuttles are the smallest. They are mostly very, very cheap. For some reason, this is eight million. Is what? Okay, yeah. See, so they're very cheap shuttles. Um, oh, that's why it's a. Okay. Well. Shuttles are very cheap, and they warp instantly. They go into warp instantly. Um, they are pretty much just transport ships. You cannot fit any modules to them. Um, the only problem with them is they have a pretty slow warp speed. So uh, they have a cruiser size warp speed, so they're not the fastest ships. If you can fit up a um, frigate, that will work better, I think. You can fit, fit a frigate right. It'll work better. Okay, so these are pretty much just for travel. Otherwise, they're not good for anything at all. Okay, and above that, you have frigates. Now, frigates are second to smallest. You have all the types. You have one ore, which is interesting, which is the mining frigate. Um, okay, MR, you have lots of different stuff. I'm not going to cover each and every ship because that would take way too long. MR is armor tanked and their ability with, um, uh, like what their E war is, so their electronic warfare. Um, that is, let me find it. Um, doop 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 is a tracking disruption, tracking optimal range. So it's kind of a pain. Okay, and then you have the Kaldari, which is shield tanked. Um, frigates are fast and maneuverable, and Kaldari is um, EM, or ECM, which means you cannot lock when you're getting ECM. ECM, or you're getting jammed, pretty much. Um, and so, Frigates are fast, maneuverable ships, and they don't—they don't have a lot of armor in them, um, and they just—well, they're not—they're not very tanky. They—they they, uh, rely on speed to not get hit by big guns. Um, I'm not going to actually go through every race every time. So, then you have the faction frigates, which are just not much nicer ships. And they they look really cool. Daredevil. Super speedy ships. But um succubus. Um, okay. And not going and then you have advanced frigates, which are assault frigates, which are just tech two frigates, so they're very good. You have covert ops, which means they can cloak and um be kinda uh, uncloaked and uh Fly, uh, warp while cloaked, and I'll explain about this later more, but Manticore is a bomber, so it can launch bombs, which is very handy. I might do some bombing videos as soon as I can fly it. Same with the Purifier, it's also a bomber. And there are also frigates that can use cruise missiles and torpedoes, which are uh, battleship-sized uh, missiles, pretty much. And I'm showing now all the stealth bombers. Hound is pretty awesome. 
Oh, okay. And that's about it for frigates. Um, size up from frigates is destroyers. Destroyers are mostly just anti-frigates. They don't have a lot of tank, but they do a lot of damage. Um, and then they have, like, each one has two. This one's a damage dealing one. So it has bonuses to turrets. And then this one is a well, easy type of... Uh, I'm not going to actually go into what it does because it's complicated. Um, and then you have the missile boat for. Uh, and this is the missile boat for uh, what's it called for Kaldari. And then you have the gunboat for Kaldari. And then next is the Algos, which is a drone boat. Which is I I have to say I want to fly an Algos sometime. But I don't really have the drone skills to support it. And then you have the catalyst, which is the uh, gunboat, I can. And then you have the tower, which is another missile boat, which this, this is really good. has interesting bonuses, but I'm not going to go into that at the moment. Unless you post a comment and I, I'll i do a video on uh, a certain race if you choose a race. Uh, Thrasher is also very dangerous. Okay. And... Then you have uh, the special advanced destroyers and interdictors. Interdictors uh, can put up a type of bubble that keeps you from warping, and so they're they're very annoying. You interdictors get shot a lot because no one likes an interdictor. <laughs> On that looks, that's a cool interdictor, shiny. Okay, so that's pretty much what destroyers do. Then above destroyers, you have cruisers. Cruisers are destroyer and freight killers, but they also do well against battle cruisers and battleships. Um, frigs also do well against battleships, except they just take forever to kill the thing. Um, yeah, so they, they have a... Uh, in the cruiser category, you also have all the real um, healers, so the, the logistics ships, and also the real, like, disruption ships. Um, like, there's also a frigate version of each, of the damage-dealing um, and then ECM, electronic warfare stuff, and then also logistics. Um, and but the the cruisers are not the best, or are the best unless you get into capital ships, which I'll cover in a second. Um, and say for Kaldari, you have like the Blackbird, which is a very good jamming ship, and it, everyone always shoots it because it's very annoying. And then you have the Osprey, for instance, which is the logistics, which has amazing shield capabilities to give other people shield. Then you have the faction ones, which are just nice stuff. Um, nicer ships, pretty much. They got expensive. Um, typing in the background here. And then you have the advanced cruisers, which are just more specialized. Uh... And I'm not going to go into pretty much everything, but you have a better interdictor, you have just heavy assaults, which are just better at shooting stuff. Um, and then above that you have battle cruisers. Okay, and battle cruisers are nice or okay battle cruisers have a s couple of things there you have the um i'm just talking about being an fc with one of my friends on eve okay um i really need to concentrate up okay let's go. uh so you have in battle cruisers you have mostly dps ships or it's pretty much all dps in battle cruisers it's a step up from cruisers and a step down, uh, and a step down from uh, battleships. So you have the Harbinger, for instance, and the Prophecy. Prophecy is a drone ship, and the Harbinger is a, a laser ship, and those are normal. But then you have the tier three uh, battle cruisers, such as the Oracle, which can put battleship-sized guns on it, um, and that just makes it very good, pretty much. And then you have the Kaldari Drake, which is a missile boat. It's 
quite amazing. And Ferex, which is the um, also very tanky and but has hybrid turrets. And then you have the Naga, which has um, which can do the battleship-sized weapons. And then you have uh, I'm not sure actually which one um, is the Brutex, the tier three. Which one's that? No, okay, the Talos is the two, three. Then you have the Brutix, which is, um... It's really odd. All these ships are crazy weird. Um, all the Galanta ships. Uh, that, that's the... Uh, what's it called? The hybrid turret. The hybrid turret, uh, guns. And then you have the drone boat. This one uses drones. And you have the Talus, which can put battleship-sized weapons. See how bigger the places for the weapons are. Okay, and then you have the Minotaur. Um, Cyclone, which is missiles, I think. Yeah, it's missiles. And then you have the Hurricane, which is um, projectile weapons. Hurricane's pretty boss. And then you have the Tornado, which is battleship-sized uh, projectile weapons. And the tornado is very annoying. But the thing with the tier 3s is they have very, very little health. They die very fast. Uh, okay, and then you, ha of course, have the um, advanced, which I don't really want to go into because they're a lot more complicated. And then you have battleships. Battleships are kind of the end game for most people. They take a long time to really get very good. And um, they're they're very good. They, that's where most people hang. Don't go farther than them. Um, so you have the Baton, which is uh, the lasers. It's pretty awesome. I, I want to fly one, but I'm called Ari, so it'll take me a lot longer to really get good in one. And then you have the Apocalypse, which is a drone boat. No, no, that's wrong. This is a uh, uh, also a laser boat. This this is I think has because um, it has the bonus to armor resistance. Um, it's less does less damage than Apocalypse, but has more armor or is better tanky. And then you have the Armageddon, which is a drone boat. Even though it has places for guns, you can put cruise missiles on this as well. Um, yeah, it's a drone boat. Um, and then you have the Raven which is the Kaldari cruise missile boat. Cruise missiles are a lot better than they were in the last patch. I'm not going to go into that really unless people say they want to, but that's for another tutorial. Then you have the Roke, which I love. It's shiny. And this is lasers. gets big guns along the top and stuff. It looks awesome. And then you have the Scorpion, which is a complete jammer. This will jam everything, and it's a battleship. Uh, so, yeah, it can be very dangerous. And then you have the Galente stuff. Dominix, which is space potato. <laughs> Looks like a space potato. Um, this is a drone ship. It's pretty good for being a drone ship. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, really. I'm not sure what the Hyperion does. The Hyperion is for... It's a tanky... Tanky hybrid turret thing. Uh, I shouldn't have closed that. <laughs> um, let's move this back over here. Glente... Megathron... Actually, I'm going to close this, open that again. Um, the Megathron is... It does more damage than the Hyperion, is, but is a little bit bit less tanky. And then Minmatar has some pretty weird chips. Uh, this one, I don't really like the Maelstrom that much. Um, it is a uh, projectile gun thing, projectile ship, but it has uh, bonuses to shield, so it's a bit more tanky than the Tempest, which I do like a lot. Um, the Tempest has more bonuses to guns, so it's a little less tanky, but does more damage. And then you have the Typhoon, which is a cruise missile, or cruise and torpedo boat. It's kind of odd, odd, I don't really know what to think about it. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay. 
Um, I think I'm actually going to stop it there because this can go on forever with the capital ships. Or I'll I'll do one one more segment or two more. You have mining barges and industrial ships. Mining barges are just very good for mining. They mine really well, pretty much. And then industrial ships, you have standard stuff, and these are the small. Um, well, they they just they're they're the easy carriers really, so they're they're the cheap carriers. And then uh, actually, you know, I'll just do capital ships in one video because uh, I'll add capital ships to this video, but it'll be fine. You know, I can't speak anymore. Okay, in capital ships. I'll first do capital industrials. You have the Orca, which is technically a capital. Um, it's pretty much just a huge freighter. Same with the uh, Rokuel. It's also just a huge uh, ship, but it, ha it has bonuses to stuff. I and I'm not really a or a person, so I don't really understand that too much. And you have carriers, which are the logistics of um, of well, oh, what's it called? Of t of um, battle cruiser or actually cruisers can fix um, can rep so repair they can repair battleships but cruisers can't really repair very well they can't really do a good job on uh, capital ships so that's where the um, the carriers come in uh, carriers have um, either they have a bonus where they can really rep stuff really, really well, and they can keep it alive very, very well, or they can, um, put fighters, they're the only ships in the game that can use fighters, and the special thing about fighters is that they will follow other ships into warp anywhere in the system. So, you actually have to kill them to get them off you, pretty much. Um... So there's a lot more things in capital ships that I don't really understand yet, but the gist is that carriers are the logistics, or pretty high DPS ships. Um, and there's two different classes of carriers, such as the Hell, which is the super carrier, and then the Nidhogger, which is the normal carrier, which is just the carrier. Super carriers cannot dock. Anything above a super carrier cannot dock. All carriers can dock, can, ah, can dock except for the hell, which is a super carrier. Um, I think, I think the Nyx, yeah, the Nyx is a super carrier, so you can't dock a Nyx. Um, faction carrier, only faction carrier in, carrier in the game, the Revenant, which is a super carrier, cannot dock it. And then the Weavern is a super carrier. And then the Ar Eon or Aeon is a super carrier. Okay. And then let's close carriers. Then you have dreadnoughts. I'm not really sure which is bigger, a carrier or a dreadnought. But dreadnoughts are super simple. They just do a huge amount of damage. And they have huge turrets. That's the size of what the turrets are. And this is uh, almost four kilometers long. Um they have the Phoenix, which is a cruise missile thing. It's not very good, really. Um, Moros, Moros, or however you want to pronounce it. And these just do a huge amount of damage. Um, and there's, yeah, they're pretty simple, actually. And then you have uh, Titans. I mean, the jump and the jump freighters and the freighters are a part of the industrial stuff. Titans are the biggest ship in the game. They're huge. This one is 13 kilometers long. And they have Doomsdays. Doomsday weapons, which can one-hit almost everything. This is the Kalahari Titan. The Leviathan. Uh, also has a Doomsday. Every All the things have a Doomsday. I'm speaking nonsense right now. Also a Titan. And then Ragnarok, which is also Titan. The longest one, which are the Leviathan and the uh, Ragnarok, are 18 kilometers long. So, yeah. <laughs> They're huge. And they do a huge amount of DPS, and they have a whole nother 
thing called d jump bridging, but I'm not going to go into that. And then, okay, let's do freighters. Freighters are simple ships. You cannot fit any modules to them, as I understand. And all they pretty much do is carry stuff. You can fit a lot into them. They're pretty expensive. And there's nothing really special about freighters, except that they can just carry a lot. Um, and this looks like it's a uh, sand crawler from Star Wars. Jump freighters, on the other hand, are the big brother of um, they're the big brothers of uh, the freighters. They can jump, which I'm not going to explain right now. But it's pretty much you're not using gates, and they go very, very far, pretty much very fast. Um, and yeah. Then they have a fuel bay, but these also can't cannot fit any modules. Um, so you uh, so you pretty much have to defend these. Um, and then that's about it for the jump raiders. Uh, I think that's it. And then there's the special edition ships, which have all the other things. I wonder what logistics special edition. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, thank you for watching, please subscribe, and um, post a comment to show that you watch my video maybe, or um, post a comment to see what, or for me to know what type of video you want next. Thank you for watching, Undermine, this is EVE Online, have a nice day.